Hello there and welcome back to The Long Dark with me, Just Joe. They have done a few updates more to this game since the last time I played. I believe I played on version .96 and I believe since then 97, 98, 99 all came out in a single release. And uh, version 2 came out today right before I was about to play. I did have one uh, Frozen Creek. Okay, I did have one issue with the game. So the only issue that I had was uh, yet again. Now that uh, I did this update, my issue was the same problem I had the last hot fix, which was my graphics card would go crazy every time I've gone indoors. Uh, and just so you do know, this is like my fifth attempt at recording this video. Uh, I had the GPU get too hot and I had to escape. I had to cancel. I started a new character and I tried that and I had a hard drive uh, issue. I have a hard drive that's starting to give me problems. It just recently did. so. Um, it has not been the most extremely fun thing to do. So I've had to start a whole new character just to try to attempt to fix the GPU issue. I started in the Mystery Lake area. I figured I will work my way, you know, back down all the way through down into Pleasant Valley. So now it started me near this, uh, like, frozen waterfall right here. See if I can get down without hurting myself. All right, okay. So I don't know quite where I am in the Mystery Lake area. I could follow the river down. I'm pretty sure that would re lead me where I need to go, and it might be a good idea just because I don't have uh, any of my equipment on me. Just the starting equipment, and I'm already moving slow. So. According to the updates they did, they did performance updates as far as memory was concerned and things like that. I do apologize that it's taken a little while to get to this video. Uh, I did attempt to do one yesterday. That's when I started to have some of my problems and it ended up just getting too late for me to continue on. I had another project that I needed to finish. So that is uh, taken care of. Let's see here. What is this going to take me to? I had another project I needed to take care of, so I finished that up, and today I am solely focused on successfully making a video for the Long Dark. Okay, so that Frozen Lake thing is up off of, this looks like Clear Cut, is this Clear Cut? If this is actually Clear Cut, then I should have the Forestry Lookout to climb up to here really quick. Unless this is just like a road on the way to Forest. The, I think Clear Cut's further this way. Pretty sure. So I'm going to go see if I can find Forestry Lookout. Because right now I'm basically starting bare. I have no uh, nothing on me other than what you start with. So I know I must be getting cold pretty quickly. Well, luckily the weather's not too bad right now. Okay, so there's the sign. So yeah, I think this should be clear cut up here. Yes, okay. So I will find the forestry lookout and we will climb up there and see what we can find. And I figure since I'm here and I've started the new game, I am going to uh, take a look in some of the places that I believe the prepper's cache might be in. So we're going to do that this time in this video. I haven't, uh, I, I started this video literally when I started this new save, so I haven't gone into a building yet to see uh, if I am going to even be able to do the whole building thing with the way the graphics issue has been affecting me. It was strange that it affected me after the last hotfix, I started a new character and the issue went away, so I figured it was with my save more than their hotfix, but I have downloaded the two hotfix patches since then. The one that included uh, 97, 98, and 99, and then the hotfix that uh, brought us to uh, 2.0. And now I'm having the same issue again. So I'm kind of just hoping that it's really not um, 
going to be a solid issue with this game for me now because I'm, I'm doing trying to do a pretty regular walkthrough on this game. I have to admit the one thing I do appreciate about Hinterland, which is the company that is uh, the studio that's producing this game, they seem to be on top of their stuff. They're very involved with the uh, the gaming community that is playing this game. They're listening. They've tried to streamline uh, suggestions that you can make for them. They've uh, been really involved in just asking for opinions and stuff. And I think that that's awesome. And also, they've been really quick. This game had an official large update that, you know, increased map size and, and all of that. And they had some bugs that came out with that. And they had the updates out within a couple of days. I have played other early access games where you have waited weeks for the quick hot fixes that should have been pretty easy to do. So I do appreciate that this game knocks them out quick. All right. Okay. I thought there was a, like a body next to this. Maybe it's not spawning the same anymore. I'm not quite sure what all they have changed, what all they haven't changed. I was having some weird gl graphical glitches with the exterior of buildings when I first loaded in after the hotfix update. So I'm going to see if that's still doing it. This structure seems to be okay. I don't know if this is even going to count as an interior structure since it doesn't load when you go in. So I should be totally fine stepping into this area. Now I have nothing right now so I'm going to be taking absolutely everything I find. And this is like a great start, you know, get some food. This radio still doesn't do anything. Hope nobody needs this anymore. Bandages. Okay. I still remember the very first time that I played this game. I came into this forestry lookout and the gun was right there. And I had no ammo. And now, I found five rounds of ammo. So when I do find the gun, at least I have more ammo than I did last time. Judging by the sound of the wind, it sounds like the weather might be getting pretty gnarly out there. Which would really not be so good for me because I'd like to continue on. That's empty. I think I've grabbed everything from here. Close that door real quick. What do we have here? Is there anything? No. Sometimes they have like knives or stuff in weird places and crouch. Look under the bed. Okay. So I think I've pretty much grabbed everything from in here. We'll head on back down. Oh, that's right. Let me out. Okay, there we go. So, now, I think that down there off of the clear cut up in that region is one of the locations, or one of the possible locations, of the Prepper's Cache. So let's go take a look over there, because that's probably, that is one of the places that I have not found myself, and I definitely, if I obviously haven't found it myself, I haven't found it on video. So let's go do that real quick. I did not find any kind of clothing in there, which is kind of a bummer. Man, I am really risking the whole ankle thing by sprinting down this. I don't have any painkillers either, so if I did sprain my ankle, it would just slow me down. But let's get back down there. I'm a little depressed that I didn't find any clothing. Those birds are definitely circling something. What's this? I've never seen this before. Has this always been here? It doesn't matter, it's empty anyway. Okay, I know there's a body down there. It looked a bit steep to try to tackle, though, on foot. I know where it is, so at least I can kind of keep it in my head that if I really need to go back there, I can find it. Okay, let's see if we can find the prepper's cache. I'm a little nervous. I think I should be, you know, trying to find clothing before I go out, you know, in the wilderness exploring. But, I'm going to do it anyway. So I got some ammo. don't have a gun. Uh, I remember I looked over here one time 
before. I think there's even like if you dig around this clear cut area you can even find like a, a hatchet and stuff laying around. I believe so. Let's get sprinting here again. I'm trying to see. See, I remember. See up there. This just kind of it plays up, and I think that there's an area up here where the prepper's cache might actually end up being. And I actually started up here on one of my attempts to make this video that didn't go so well that I ended up having a crash from. But I started it up here and worked my way down. So I mean, it might just be that this is meant for uh, spawning areas where you can come into the game but I don't know I've got like a lot of fallen oh dear lord attacked by a deer so we'll take a quick look around the only thing that I know is what the preppers cache hatch looks like I saw a picture of it so that's really all I'm kinda looking for I don't even know if I'm looking in the right place to be honest with you This is kind of interesting how this says swoop up though. I'm just wondering if I, me coming out here with the very limited equipment that I have was such a good idea. It was kind of a risk. But let's see where it takes us. Just go anywhere? No? Hmm. For me, this is kind of some of the fun of this game is like literally just going out and, and getting lost, not knowing exactly where you're going. Although it is something that you. What is that noise? I'm hearing like weird noises. And I mean that that's the trees creaking, but I was hearing something else. Oh man. Oof. Gotta worry about this temperature here. Cause I am not up I am not near anything. Where am I? I mean I am like up on the mountain. Like up, up. I guess I should try and work my way down. The weather's getting colder. How much higher can I go before it like tells me I can't? Is that it there? If I start freezing, I'll start burning calories like crazy, and I don't want to do that. Oh man, this is getting steep. Oh no, it's getting too steep. I am not supposed to be climbing on this. Okay, can I go up? No, I'm going to have to go down. That's the clear cut area down there. Okay, don't break an ankle. Okay, I am going to have to head down. The weather is just getting too much. Too much. Okay, I'm going to crawl or creep down. No hurt ankles. No hurt ankles. Come on. He's limping like he has a hurt ankle. That's weird. Well, he was stuck in a crouch, but it was still letting me sprint somehow. That was weird. Okay, so this weather is not cooperating. I need to get back down to clear cut and uh, go find myself some shelter or clothing. I need to find shelter anyway to test to see if this is even going to be a fruitful video here. Because if I uh, step into a building and the graphics card starts going crazy right off the bat, I am not in any better position. Okay, so I am in like the second 
the little area that I walked into at first, the clear cuts that way to the right. So I'm gonna head this way because I need to find indoors for two reasons. One, so I don't freeze to death, and two, to test my graphics card. That's not very nice. Stop howling in my ear, please. Okay, so there's a blue building over here. Sprinting as fast as I can. I don't think I'm freezing yet. It's not saying it, but... Logging camp. And I'm just a random backpack. And it's empty. That's a second... Just random backpack. Oh, that's where I got eaten. And there's the wolf. So I'm see, let's see if I see the graphical glitches that were here before. I'm not seeing the graphical glitches that were here last time. There was this weird like barbershop pull effect going on around the uh, door frame and window frames. Let's step inside and see what happens here. All right, what do we got? We got energy bar. I'm already warming up. Newsprint, drawer. Anything in there? No. Don't have any lantern. I do have some matches, but I'd rather save them. Newsprint roll. And my temperature's getting a little warmer than I would like. That'll come in handy. Okay, so right now I don't think I'm wearing any kind of sweater, so that's got to be better than what I got. Did he already put it? No, he didn't put it there. Thin wool sweater, 1.5. Oh, wow. No. What I have is better. Yeah. What I have is way better. Okay, I have to get outside, guys. My graphics card's overheating. This sucks. Hmm, this is kind of a bummer. I'm going to have to do a little bit of something here. I'm, I'm worried about the graphics card temperature. <gasps> Lantern! Down ski jacket. Oh, this one's paying off. Good. What have we here? Military grade MRE? Oh yeah, it was totally worth coming in here should have the lantern now so we can shed some light on the situation. Got a jerry can, should be full of fuel for this lantern. Let's go ahead and pick it up. Got some food down in here. I see something else in there. What do we got? What is that? Orange soda. Okay. That's empty. Cloth. Right. Okay, so my temperature is kind of stabilizing while I'm indoors. It, it's getting higher than it used to, but it's stabilizing. So that should be good. I'll have to just double check some stuff, see if anybody else is having like a similar issue with the game. I like to turn the lantern off when I'm going in and outside, just because I don't know if it's wasting fuel or not, but... I just picked up a big old jerry can. Okay, so I've found some of the stuff that is like a necessity that you want to have in this game. Water's always good, basic gloves, I'll just harvest that for uh, cloth to repair my other stuff that I'm already wearing. Now I do have some ammo, I don't know, not the bed, I want the candy bar. Use Another this. can opener, some antiseptic. Okay, so I think that that's everything that I can find in here. There's nothing you can take off the wall. Can't read those. Just wondering. Okay, so what I'm probably going to do is I'm going to go ahead and call an end to this video here. And when I come back, hopefully this uh, graphics card issue will be all handled. Okay, go ahead and let's go outside real quick. Oh cool, the weather totally calmed down.
So let me throw on that down ski jacket. We'll go ahead a little bit longer than since the weather calmed down. Don't wear that. I'm already wearing the better gloves. The ski jacket is definitely better. I can wear the sweater anyway with the jacket. Okay, so I should be pretty handy dandy for right now. It's saying I'm cold, but it's not super cold. Okay. Logging trucks, okay. So we'll go ahead and go a little bit further and head down. Not too much excitement in this video, but uh, I'm just still a little worried about that graphics card issue. Once I know that that's all said and uh, I'm not going to have problems, then I'll be doing more more uh, visits indoors and staying indoors longer. But for right now, you know what, this is another place that goes back and up. I have some clothing now. How much is on time? Time? It's only 3 o'clock in the afternoon. Okay guys, let's go up here. Let's see what's up here. Do some open world exploring. Because I know I didn't come this far from when I was uh, up on the top of the mountainside. That's for sure. You know, I've, I'm playing a couple other early access games and they have like, uh, you know, they have crazy easter eggs in it, you know, that are obvious references to other movies or games. And I was kind of wondering if they were to have anything like that in this game. I know they're not, I don't believe they're tied to any like larger studios or anything. I think that Hinterland is pretty much just a bunch of guys that started up their own deal which is great because the stuff that they're producing so far is awesome but uh, it would be interesting if they had some kind of like survival easter eggs right now you have the preppers cache to find I guess they're giving you good structures to find or good, good places to loot I guess you can't really complain when they're doing that for you Open world exploration. Okay, I don't really see much here. Let's see. No hurting yourself there, buddy. We got a long way to go. Winded, huh? Oof. That was a little nerve wracking. Just hopping down. And is this where I came up from? It looks like it is. Looks like I didn't really find anything. Okay, so it was a loop for nothing. A loop for naught. All right. Well, I'm going to keep on trucking. I'm going to head out to another structure here. If I find one here really quickly, then I'll go ahead and dive inside and uh, save the game and stuff. And then I can just call the video there. But if not, I'll call it here. Continue walking. Okay, well, we've made it to the train loading area. I thought there was a structure here. Well, at least I know I'm at the railroad. Hmm. Okay, so yeah, I'm going to go ahead and call the video here. Yeah, and there's nothing. I was just checking to see if there was a structure. I'm going to go ahead and call the video here. Everyone have a great day. I appreciate you watching. I'll be back with more Long Dark here pretty soon.